How's it? This is Mundo and behold, uh -huh. this is my Charvel Guthrie Govan signature MJ San Dimas SD24 guitar. I'm um, not quite new. I've been playing it for six months and uh, this isn't going to be a review. I am going to give you my subjective opinion of uh, how, good, how good this guitar is and uh, what kind of a workhorse it's it's been. I'll, I'll explain everything. So why subjective and why a workhorse? Um, I needed another guitar. My main guitar is a Sir Modern and uh, after COVID and getting a new job I just wasn't ready to buy a new Sir. So uh, I thought I'd buy this Charvel. I'm a fan of uh, Guthrie and I've always wanted a Charvel from from those 80s uh, famous guitars. I even got to play Alan Holdsworth's Charvel way back in the olden days. But um, yeah, it's just a really fun guitar, but there has been some challenges. So this is going to be a very subjective, uh, opinionated overview, but I think I'm the perfect field tester to share with you what I found. Um, I do the Mystere show and that's about 480 shows a year. It's five days a week. I'm playing this thing every day and uh, I can let you know how stable it is and what the problems are. Um, mostly it's been great, but as you heard at the end of that music video, it got a little wonky. So um, I'll get to that, but let's talk about the guitar first. So the first question you got to answer is, does it let you play like Guthrie? I'm a huge fan and the answer is yes. It lets you play exactly like Guthrie. The mystery is solved. It's a San Dimas style body. It's got a caramelized maple fretboard and neck. That's my favorite combination. And there's also two graphite uh, dowels, I guess, in there. So it's a super stable neck and I can attest to that. In, in Vegas, and we're talking a little about the workhorse aspect, uh, we're in the desert, so super dry, but we also have a monsoon season and this past monsoon season was a real, real one. So we've got we got to the lower 60s in humidity, not much for other parts of the country, but if you would think in the morning it's dry and then by the evening it's super humid for Vegas standards. Out of the five guitars I play in the show, uh, this guitar and the Sur were the only ones I did not have to adjust the neck, so that's great. It comes with a Charvel Floyd Rose bridge, non-locking, and uh, if you notice this is not Spoiler alert, the Charvel one. We'll talk about that. Um, these are Korean-made pickups of the Michael Frank Braun American-made pickups. By the way, this is the Made in Japan version. That's what the MJ is for. So, so it costs less than the USA Custom Shop model, but um, it was something I could afford, and I did buy this guitar. So these are Korean-made, and uh, from what I read, they sound just like the original American made pickups, so I've been very happy with it. We'll run through that. These knobs are one of my favorite things. They're higher, and uh, I often just use my pinky and grab things. There's just a lot to grab on. And then, if you also notice, we've got little numbers 
there. And then you've got a little, like a brass pin. So that is really nice if you're doing session work and you need to come back the next day. You can literally dial in. If you write down your, um, if you write down your settings, you can literally dial in exact settings from the day before. Really nice. I appreciate that. I also appreciate where this is put. It's very easy to get to. Um, as far as body, it's a basswood body and the top is ash, but it's more like a veneer. It's very thin top and uh, this for the Made in Japan version is the only way it comes with this three-tone sunburst. Not really my favorite, but people love this. Uh, I haven't polished it or anything, so it's got fingerprints and stuff and it seems to be holding up, but not my favorite. I just... Uh, like the guitar and I was looking for a workhorse. Um, by the way, the neck is super comfortable. It's like a shallow C. Uh, there's a compound radius. If you also notice on the pickups, I forgot to mention, got this mini toggle which gives you a uh, single coil simulation. And uh, I'll plug this in and show you what I mean. Comfortable with the heel here. And by the way, a big selling point for me, it sounds like a small thing, are these Lumen Lay fret marker dots because as a workhorse guitar I'm playing this thing in the dark often and uh, I really appreciate that. So like I said you have the Lumen Lay dots but these numbers if you can see there I can't these numbers should glow in the dark too. They don't for me I don't know if I need to charge them and check out the appointments on these pickups just like the USA made I think I like the red that's kind of cool. And they are direct mounted into the guitar. I think there's a little foam under the humbucker. Goto tuners. And lastly, we've got like a side mount here. Not here. And it's at a different angle. You're coming in that way. Let me get a cord. So you're coming in, up. So you got that. And it's kind of a good idea. Personally, I like it when it comes here or when it comes up on the bottom, but maybe that's just me being old school. But what I do find, let me get that cord back. What I do find I don't like, and it's just a little thing, is when it's plugged in, And then you put your guitar down on a rack. This, this often hits it on the kind of racks that I use, like the ones I have back there. Um, and it also sticks out a little further. So I'm, it's a great idea. I'm not the biggest fan. All right, check it out. My three guitars. Here's the Sir. Here's the rack. And if you notice, Here's the end pin jack. And if you notice here, it's fairly smooth. Take this off. One of the biggest selling points and also biggest considerations for my workhorse guitars is it's got to be light. I just can't handle heavy guitars anymore and specifically in in this show I mean 10 shows a week, five nights a week and then I work on my days off often doing uh, passion projects, fun gigs and sessions. Week after week you start building up some tension, pain, offsetting on your spine um, but a light guitar takes all that away. This is 7.2 pounds and that is actually lighter than my Sur which is about 7.7 7 and a half I guess. But um, you know what's really cool buying from Sweetwater? They actually put the pictures of the actual guitar you're buying and how much uh, it weighs and that was really nice for me. So uh, 7.2 pounds and it feels really light and play it all night long. Here. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as playability, 
the star of this guitar is the neck. It is so comfortable. It's it's just the right spacing. Um, I love the look out of it, look of it. Although sometimes in the dark, my fingers blend in with this caramel caramel color, and the joke's on me. But um, these are jumbo stainless steel frets, and um, I don't know if they're quite jumbo, but they're one of the best things on this guitar, and uh, they're super fast. And that's probably why this guitar lets you play exactly like Guthrie. But I'm I'm serious. It's super super fast frets. When I first got the guitar, um, if I was doing something like that, I would overshoot. I'd miss because it was it's really fast. It, that's the best way I could say it. But super comfortable for chords. I'll try to do something with uh, slides and chords. Uh, really nice. And then the shredding, it's all there. So the neck is the star, in my opinion, of this guitar. I just love it. Um, the pickups, Michael Frank Braun, Fender Guru of pickups, um, built Eric Johnson's pickups, and he built them, like I said, on the American version for uh, the Guthrie Govan signature guitar. These are Korean made, but they sound great. Um, standard humbuck, full humbucker in the first position, uh, fourth position, full humbucker. Um, I'm just going to keep a clean sound because you already heard it with Distorto. Um, so we got 24 frets on my workhorse guitars. I'm always looking for a 24 fret guitar because for some reason a lot of the composers like you to play that high E and this is accessible. Have you ever tried a 24 fret guitar where sometimes the high E you just, it just is not a note. This one is usable all the way up um, but 24 frets it still spanks like a strat which is really nice I got the fourth position really nice um, the other second position which would be the middle pickup and this inside pickup from the uh, bridge pickup is uh, the other one I would use the other pickup selection I'd use for a spanky strat I hope it's coming through just tons of uh, spank. <laughs> Let's talk about the magic switch. That's what Guthrie calls it. It is a simulated pickup uh, single coil splitter. So here's the full humbucker. Kind of honky, right? If I wanted to single coil it up. So that's very useful, especially for a workhorse. First, let's hear a full humbucker. Kind of just heavy, kind of almost less poly. If I split it. Really nice, back off the volume. about this guitar and uh, Guthrie doesn't use it and I really don't use it much is the middle pickup on a standard Strat or Super Strat it's just usually this guy in this case on this guitar it's the two outer single coils uh, so that's nice well and it's my understanding whether it's in the split or the uh, with this uh, magic switch off let's see this is off um, is off kind of the same to me but it's really I don't know if it's a telly it's just super spanky still let's bring it back up to 10 it's uh, not quite Stevie Ray but it's super useful let's try um, Let's try second position. Split. Try Stevie Ray sound again. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. Uh, this guitar really runs a gamut of sounds. Uh, if I wanted to jazz it up. Believe it or not. 
that that happens, split it. Even for some comping. That's, uh, hopefully that showed you just with the clean sound how versatile this guitar is. And like I said, the next is star and with distortion, I can do anything I want, so yay. And one of the best thing, if you haven't already noticed about this little magic mini toggle switch is it's very useful because the volume doesn't change. I think it's the first time I've ever tried something like this where the volume didn't change drastically. So this is uh, first position, full, first position, full humbucker and then I flip it so it's hum canceling on this single coil simulation and it sounds like a single coil and I didn't lose any volume go to the fourth position full humbucker it's really good it's a big deal well done, Charvel.